Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to uh, walk you through how Synthesizer works from Rob Koo. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate to the giveaway, please do follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. So, let me start saying that Synthesizer is a hybrid synth. So it combines, for example, virtual analog synthesis with physical modeling, as you can see on the screen here. Recently, it has been upgraded to support a UV fray. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you it standalone so you can have a better view of the UI. Let's start up here clicking on these three uh, circles to show you that uh, I have actually connected an external wireless um, MIDI controller. Okay, but of course you can click up here to choose your own one and connect in. Here you see the list. Um, on the top right hand side, you have additional settings. So for example, you can choose the different themes and if you wanted to have auto or force it dark or light. You can have a background audio enabled if you are controlling, for example, the synth through an external device like um, a sequencer. You can set it to low energy mode to preserve energy. So the sound energy will stop monitoring the back end after it stops receive, receiving MIDI messages for 10 minutes, as it says here. You can have a look at the MIDI mapping if you have defined some, of course. Then you can set your uh, MIDI input channel here. You, if you want to have a MIDI sync or not to the uh, in, be internal or external or have it in auto mode. You can change the buffer size, which is useful if you are experiencing crackling or poor quality, depending, of course, on the performance of your device. Uh, you can do master tuning. Here and then also you can also change uh, uh, something related to Unison, the detuning and the spread itself. At the bottom here you have links to the private po privacy policy, the version number and something a little bit about Robco. So really nice. I should also add that the synth has been uh, created with in mind that um, um, breath external controllers, those uh, wind external controllers. Okay. Um, so moving on, bits per minute here, which in this case you'll have available because it is used as a standalone application, plus and minus to change the tempo. There, here you can do uh, your MIDI mapping, and then you can set the, the notes to off. You can save your patch, you can set it as a favorite, you can move to the next patch or the previous patch, and then if you click on the patch name, you enter a patch selection. Here on the left-hand side, you have different banks, and as I showed in a previous video, lots of different sounds. But what also like is you can go to template and choose a predefined template like this case which has only a sine wave active you can edit it you can copy delete and you can share it and then of course you can add and you can also add tags as well which is really nice for search purposes now let's click outside so it is a hybrid synth you have here on the left hand side uh, for example the oscillators you have two oscillator one and two which you can select by default it is one for this template oscillator number two is set as volume down zero so you hear only oscillator number one where you can see the volume is up to maximum you can choose the type of uh, a waveform, sine, square, so triangle. But you have a lot of other digital uh, waveforms which are really, really nice. And let me show you how easy it is to create an electric bass. Just select that waveform and then lower uh, your octave. There you go, you've done it. So really, really straightforward. Now let's reset these two. So you can change the pitch in semitones or in cents for the tuning. Double click, of course, to reset the default settings. Now, if you set it to mono for which down here and for which you can also have a legato in terms of performance, you can hear the unison. I remember you have a settings up here if you scroll down here for the detuning and also spread. The 
synth is actually quite good both for uh, creating um, late sounds which can be mono or not but also to create some of the pad sounds really nice of course you can activate the second oscillator <laughs> This one is quite nice because having oscillator number two as a sign, uh, waveform, he had the pitch quite low. It sounds like a sub oscillator on top of your oscillator number one, which is the saw uh, tooth waveform. <laughs> Of course, you can add some effects here, like delay. Choose the time. Or reverb, and choose the size. I'm going to leave, actually, that reverb effect on for now. Now, let's set down the oscillator uh, waveform, uh, sorry, volume to zero, and let's go back to oscillator number one, and we set also that down to zero. Now, if I press M key, you don't hear anything. But the reason for doing that is because we can go to the modeling, physical modeling uh, synth engine, increase the volume, of course. And um, then we can change the aperture. Change the stiffness. We can change the type of physical modeling pipe. Of course, you have to wait sometime a little bit you know, that the uh, top description here comes back uh, visible because it's loading the uh, engine. And of course, let's change the pressure. You can introduce some jet delay. And also you can select also the abode um, engine as well. Change the position and the ball pressure. Increase a bit of volume. Really nice. Now let's set that volume down to zero and let's go back to have just the normal oscillator engine on. You can introduce some noise here, set the volume, change the type of noise. Okay, next you have a section for the filter. So you can select low pass filter, bent pass filter, high pass filter. Then you can choose the cutoff. The resonance. You can decide to apply the envelope um, amount to the filter. And then you can find the filter here. You click on filter envelope, sorry, the envelope. You can find the envelope for the filter here or for the amp here. And it's very simple. You can in have the indication here on the right hand side for attack, decay, sustain and release. Then if you press uh, here and move it to the right, introduce some attack. If you do the same, moving to the right here at the end, you can add um, some uh, release and then up and down, you can change the sustain and then left to right, you can change the decay. So very simple. Let's do it uh, on the amp, which is auditor straight away. You can start to hear that it's becoming more like a pad and uh, let's add um, release. There you go. Now, 
Next, you have two um, uh, low frequency oscillator, two LFOs, LFO1 and LFO2. For each one of them, you just uh, select the waveform, sine, square, so, triangle, really nice. You can set the rate here, the depth, and if you want to introduce a delay. And then when you have done, you come here to modulator. You can choose one to four or five to eight, lot of different modulators. Then you activate one, and you choose the source, in this case, LFO1. Then the destination, like, for example, filter cutoff, and then you set the amount, which works in, co in combination with the depth here from the LFO. <laughs> And you can create interesting effect like so. You have vis a visualization here, both for the waveform and the dynamics as well at the bottom. We have seen already the effect. You can uh, do a master and pan for left and right channel and overall volume here. And then here you have a sequencer. So you set the number of steps here. For example, let's say I want to have only four steps. So oh, actually, let's make it even shorter. Four steps. You can have some swing here if you prefer. You activate it here. And then you can see is moving here from left to the right, going through the steps. At the moment, the steps are set to zero. So click here to edit them. And then uh, click on each one of them. You can say, let's uh, drop down to minus semitone. Then on this one, let's go up by five and exit at the mode play. <laughs> So as you can see, it's very, very straightforward to create very interesting um, patches and sound as you like. At the bottom here, you have uh, a keyboard, which you can also maximize pressing on this button here. You can uh, go up and down octave here, transpose it up and down, enable sync here for uh, uh, your LFO and delay sync. Sync, you can do glide on and off in terms of portamento, set the pitch band range, mono legato on and off. And then here on the bottom left, you, are, you, you have your pitch band and also your modulation wheel. So. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.